Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Physics and Animation. Today we are back with a new video of the ongoing series in electromagnetic induction. In the last video, we discussed the EMF induced and derived equation of EMF for a conductor due to its linear motion in a magnetic field. But what if a conductor is rotating in a magnetic field? So today, in this video, we will learn how EMF induces in a conductor when a conductor rotates in a magnetic field. So let's explore it. To understand EMF induced in a rotating conductor, let's take a conductor PQ placed perpendicular to a magnetic field. And the magnetic field is directed inward. A conductor PQ pivoted from the end P so that the conductor could rotate about P. Initially, magnetic flux phi1 linked to a rod is zero. Now, when conducting rod is rotated, then it starts linking to the magnetic field line in an area that is pi into square of radius r which is L in this case. Therefore, final magnetic flux phi2 linked to a rod is equal to BA, where A is pi L square. So the equation for the final magnetic flux linked to a rod during rotation will be B pi L square. Ok, now there will be a time taken T by a rod to make one complete rotation which we can write as circumferential distance 2 pi L traveled by a point Q divided by velocity V. So the change in magnetic flux linked to a rotating rod is equal to final magnetic flux phi2 minus initial magnetic flux phi1 that is B pi L square. Now as we know that according to Faraday's second law of electromagnetic induction the rate of change of magnetic flux d phi by dt is equal to the magnitude of EMF induced. By putting the value of change in magnetic flux d phi which is b pi l square divided by the time that is 2 pi l over velocity v. Therefore, after simplifying the equation we got half b l v. Here is also a very simple method to find the same equation of EMF induced in a rotating rod. For that, let's again rotate the rod in a magnetic field. Now, when we rotate a rod, Q end of a rod moves with a velocity V, while the velocity of a P end is zero. So, now we can find the average velocity of a rotating rod by adding velocity at point P and Q and dividing it by 2. So we get average velocity is equal to V by 2. As we learned in our last video, the equation of motional EMF induced in a conductor due to its linear motion is BLV. By putting the average velocity of a rotating rod in the equation BLV, finally we get half BLV, which is similar to the last equation. So it really looks simple and easy to remember also. It's your choice that which method you want to use. As this time, we have a rotating rod. Therefore, we should have equation in term of angular velocity also. So we know that there is a relation between linear velocity and the angular velocity. That is, linear velocity is equals to r times angular velocity omega. Here radius is equal to length of a conductor L. Therefore, linear velocity V is equal to L times omega. Now in the equation of EMF half B L V, when we put linear velocity V in the form of angular velocity omega, that is V is equal to L omega. We got our final equation of EMF induced in a rotating rod which is equals to half B L square into angular velocity omega. 
Now, if there is an EMF induced, then there should have to be some polarity of the EMF induced. To find that polarity of EMF induced, let's use right hand Fleming's rule, in which forefinger is placed along the direction of magnetic field, thumb points in the direction of force applied, then the middle finger will give us the direction of current induced. As there is an EMF induced in a conductor, therefore it will act like a battery. And we know inside a battery, direction of current is from negative to positive. Since Q end will become negative and P end will become positive. And we got polarity of EMF induced very easily. At the end, we have a very interesting question for you that how EMF induced will be affected if we will increase conducting rods and will make it like a rim of a bicycle. Will it increase, decrease or remain same? The answer is EMF will remain same. But why? Because if this time we rotate whole wheel, then EMF will induce in each conductor and they will start acting like a battery, each having their own EMF. But all these conductors with their induced EMF are connected in parallel. And we know that when batteries are connected in parallel, then their final EMF or voltage remains same. Thanks for watching friends. If this video really helped you, please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to this channel. And also press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you.